Hi and welcome. We are discussing squalene from The Minimalist. We are going to be discussing why squalene is important in your skincare and uh, what are the effects that you can expect from this particular ingredient in your skincare should you be using it and how good is this product from The Minimalist and who is it best suited for. Let's go. Squalene is one of those oils which has recently um, been introduced into skincare about a few years back and it has got a lot of properties that, it, that people love it for. It is, as you can see on your screen, great for anti-aging because it helps improve the hydration and health of your skin a lot. It also improves the skin barrier function with uh, which with age goes down and your skin becomes weaker. It improves elasticity, improves firmness, it eliminates wrinkles, it's great for scars it reverses UV damage. So as a, you know, as we age, there are some days where we are not very particular about our sunscreen, you know, we forget or we don't reapply it. There is cumulative sun damage that takes place on our skin. It also improves freckles and pigmentation. Over and above that, squalene is great for acne prone skin. It's actually great for oily skin. It's the best for oily skin and more so if you have acne as well. It is a great because it improves the dry patches with salicylic acid or retinoid in our skin can give. And it can lighten the pigmentation that comes with a lot of acne. It improves skin barrier. And when you have acne, your skin barrier is generally compromised. So squalene helps in improving and strengthening the skin barrier. So it's a great ingredient to have when you have acne prone skin. There are two types of squalene and squalene. I'm going to be listing the link in the description below. You could please have a look. Considering we're only discussing the one squalene from the minimalist, I didn't think it is important to go through the differences between the two. Uh, if, you, if it interests you, please do have a look. It's going to be listed down below. I think the more important question with squalene is that, do you require it in your skincare or not? The product from the minimalist, the squalene from the minimalist is uh, very good. It's light, it's gentle. Um, and it doesn't, uh, you know, it's an oil, so it's not like going, going to give you an irritation or burning. It is a little watery as compared to the squalene from the ordinary. I find that with the minimalist, the consistencies are very different, but that doesn't really impact the quality of the product. This squalene is very good. Um, it, it, it goes on very smoothly and with the product like squalene, please make sure you're using it on your face neck as well as the decollete it's important that you use it all over because like i said it improves uh, uh, you know skin elasticity it reverses sun damage and uh, it improves hyperpigmentation so you don't want your face to look different from your neck or from your decollete as you age so how do we use squalene Squalene is a product that can go onto your skin after all your actives and all your uh, serums have gone in. So once you've used all of that, use the squalene and seal it with a moisturizer. Applying a moisturizer on top of squalene actually helps uh, the skin absorb the squalene better. So that is an important step. Is this a product you should use uh, every day or on a long term basis? I have a little different point of view. I feel that um, squalene has, uh, for me, uh, gives me the advantage of pigmentation and de-aging because it improves skin barrier elasticity and it helps with wrinkles and reverses uh, UV damage. All of that uh, qualities I'm already getting from my retinoid. So I don't really need it for anti-aging purposes. Do I need it for pigmentation? I already have alpha butin for that and I have niacinamide for that. So I don't really require it for it. So what would I use squalene for? I use squalene because it's very gentle and it's very hydrating for your skin. It's almost healing and soothing for your skin. I use it on the days when my skin is very irritated. If I use a product that doesn't work for my skin, you know, considering I experiment with a lot of products for reviews, there are days when my skin is like very irritated. I will use squalene for the next three, four days to kind of calm it down and repair the skin barrier um, because it does it very gently. So my recommendation to you would be this. Use squalene as your uh, product for uh, that you reach out to for help. You know, your skin is very irritated, you've gone on retinoids newly, you have a lot of irritation, dryness, um, peeling, and uh, all the salicylic in your skincare is giving you a lot of peeling. Um, then use squalene to kind of calm your skin down, let it heal down. So squalene should really be used as a, you know, when you want to give tender, loving care to your skin. It's that kind of a product, uh, not a product that I would recommend on a long-term basis. If you're using actives like niacinamide, retinoids, hyaluronic acid, alpha butin, then you don't need to add a squalene to it as a regular skincare. However, if you want to keep your skincare very simple, you just want to use a niacinamide and maybe a hyaluronic acid 
and you want to have something oily and hydrating, then squalene is good. Plus, it has anti-aging benefits. So to sum it up, if you have acne, your skin is irritated and you have a lot of pigmentation, your skin is inflamed, do squalene treatment for a week till your skin kind of heals, right? Calms down and then go back to your actives and to your other ingredients in your skincare because those are definitely more effective and more directed towards the results that you need. But if you're somebody who's very lazy and just wants to have, uh, you know, or who's laid back and just wants to use one or two products, so then add squalene to your skincare, use your hyaluronic acid, your vitamin C, your niacinamide and use the squalene. And especially if you're not using retinoids, then use squalene as a long-term product for your skincare. I hope that made sense to you and I hope that was helpful. The squalene from The Minimalist, oops, <laughs> I left the bottle open. The squalene from The Minimalist is really good. It's uh, I've used it, I think, about uh, five to six times when I had a problem in terms of my skin was irritated. But other than that, uh, like I said, I don't use squalene on a regular basis. I just use it when it's irritated. But a little goes a very long way. If you don't know how much squalene to use, just a drop. You must check out my video about the amount of products that you require, different kind of products and the quantity required in your skincare. It's going to be listed here. Please do have a look. It's no point adding too much of product just by, you know, by virtue of thinking that if I use more of it, I'm going to get more results. It doesn't quite work like that. In fact, it overloads the skin and um, it just messes up your other products that you want to use in your skincare. If you're looking for squalene for your skincare, go definitely for this. Apart from the fact that it is almost similar to the ordinary um, squalene, the massive advantage is that it's easily available. It's available on Amazon plus on the minimalist website, reaches you within a few days. Plus, it's definitely cheaper than the ordinary. So a good product to go for in terms of financial as well as uh, product quality per se. And that's it. I hope you found this useful. And if you did, please do like and give it a thumbs up. Till I see you next time, be good to your skin and hair. Ciao.